today's harvest of zucchini. I had two smaller ones, but I put them in pickles. And this one is going to go for tonight's supper stir fry. And these are going into the freezer. Now, I'm going to do these differently than last year. Um, last year, I just sliced them all up and put them in the freezer. Not this year. This year, I'm going to salt them because when I stir fried them, they were really, really watery. So, actually, I am going to include this because I'm going to salt these anyway, and then I'll just take a handful of it for supper. That makes sense. So, oh, so this year, and I should be peeling these. Uh, the, when the skin gets this big, it gets pretty tough. So I'm going to peel these pieces on the big one. The skin is more tender on the smaller ones. This was a zucchini I've been keeping my eye on just for this purpose. But I have more zucchinis to come so I, and I'm really, really grateful. Although I think some of my spaghetti squash got cross-pollinated with zucchini because instead of being the icy white green like this before they go ripe, they're looking more like this color. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Once I have enough zucchini in the freezer, I will make some zucchini, whoops, I will make some zucchini bread. I'm hoping by salting them and then rinsing them and blanching them, they will hold up better for stir fry coming out of the freezer. I know some people leave the seeds in, but I don't like to. Now just in case, these are tough, which they don't feel tough. I'm just going to put a couple of... That way, if the skins are slightly tough, you don't get a lot of skin in one bite. But you're not wasting it either. So, I'm going to give these about a quarter cup of salt. No, I will not be leaving the salt in these. These will be rinsed. This is just to draw water out of the zucchini. All right, we'll be back when these are ready to be rinsed, blanched, and put in bags for the freezer. So as you can see, that salt pulled a lot of water out of our zucchini. So I'm gonna take these over to the sink, strain them, and rinse them, and then I'll meet you at the stove for blanching. Okay, here's our half a stock pot of boiling water. And I'm going to put my rinsed zucchini in here. And I'm going to put the lid back on. And I'm going to set my timer for two minutes. Okay, our timer has gone off. I'm going to take these over to the sink. I'm going to drain them and rinse them with really, really cold water. These have been strained and rinsed in cold, cold water till they're cool, almost cool, but no steam is coming off. And now I'm just going to let them drip because we want most of this water gone. Okay, now I have paper towel, so I'm going to use it, but I'm just going to spread it on this cookie sheet. And then I'm going to put a piece of parchment over it so we don't get lint. And this um, will, the water will drain off around the edges of the parchment onto the um, paper towel. We're going to spread these out. As separate as we can. And now these are going out into my deep freeze for a few hours. Make sure they're rinsed, drained, and cool when you do this. So here is our zucchini, and as you can see, 
Make sure these are. Um, I took out some for su supper last night. Now I'm roasting my gar. I'm I'm canning my garden medley vegetables this weekend. But we've had some rain, so if these. If I don't have any more zucchini in the garden, which I'm pretty sure I do, I'll use them. But if I don't have any, I'll just throw this whole bag right in. That wasn't supposed to be in there, but we'll throw it in there anyway. Nice bag of zucchini for... Oh, it's hard, cold on the hands. Nice bag of zucchini for the freezer. My little freezer's getting quite full. Um, somebody mentioned there was a potato sh shortage. And when Howie went to the grocery store today, he couldn't find the price on the 10 pound bag of potatoes. So hopefully uh, there'll be enough for me to do a little bit of canning or something. So there is a good five pounds of zucchini for the freezer for future stir fries and stews. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying glean everything you can. Prices are only getting higher. Take care, God bless.